Hey, Jeremy here from VVAX Metro Tech Canada. Today I want to talk about our VM510 standalone A-frame for fault finding. So let's get into this. All right, so I get asked quite often on how to set up the VM510, uh, what frequencies to use, what mode should you have it in while you're out there doing a fault find. So I'm going to run through how to set up your A-frame itself, and then we're going to run through how to set up the transmitters. Let's get into this now, and I hope you enjoy this. All right, let's get started with our A-frame. First thing we're going to do is power it on. So we can see on screen up here that it is actually set to fault find mode, just regular fault find frequency, FF. Now, most of our new transmitters have 8K FF in it, and that is actually the preferred method for doing a fault locate. So in order to change this, we're gonna push and hold the M button. So once I'm in this screen, I'm gonna go ahead and use my plus button to scroll down. I'm gonna go ahead and push my power button to switch to 8K FF, which is our preferred frequency for doing a fault locate. Now I can go back up to this mode button up here. Let's say I wasn't doing a fault locate and I'm just using this for doing an actual locate. I can scroll through and have peak with null, peak or just null or fault find. Because we're talking about a fault find here, I wanna make sure that that up there is in FF. I'm gonna push the M button to get back out to our main screen. Now we can see up top it says 8K FF and we're ready to go out and do our fault locate. Now let's get on to our transmitters and show you how to set those up. So here we are with our most current line of transmitters. This is our current transmitter, the LOC 3TX. It can either be a 5 watt or a 10 watt. This here is our older 5 watt model, and this one here is our 1 watt 550 fault find transmitter. So in order to set these up, let's start with the oldest one first because a lot of customers still have these out there. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and get our leads, plug them into our transmitter, all right, so once we've got our leads plugged in and the unit powered on, I can go ahead here and I see that I am in 32.8. So let's scroll through on our F button to see if we have 8K FF turned on. And scrolling through, I don't have that frequency turned on. So I'm gonna go ahead and push my I button. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Now I'm in my frequency menu and I can use my up and down arrows to scroll through this menu. So now I see FF low, FF high, but what we want to set this to is 8K FF. Use the F button to put a check mark next to it or an X next to it. So I'm going to check both low and high on here so I can push the I button, get back to my main screen. Now I can push my F again, scroll through my frequencies, and now I have my 8K FF low and my 8K FF high turned on on my transmitter. Let's move on to our version three transmitter. Again, I'm gonna take my leads and plug them in. I'm gonna power the unit on. And again, let's push our F button to see if we have that turned on already. Scroll through my frequencies. And we don't. So again, I'm gonna push my I button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Now I'm into my menu screen here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. I've, again, I've got my FF low and FF high but I wanna make sure that my 8K FF and low and high are turned on. So I just push the F button once I'm next to those and that will select them. So I just push my I button to get back to the main screen and now I'm in 8K FF low. If I push the frequency button, I will also be able to scroll through to 8K FF high. Now our one watt transmitter is a little bit more simple because all I'm gonna do on this, all my frequencies are already programmed in here and all I simply do is just push the F button to scroll through to 8K FF at the end. 
So plug in my leads, turn the transmitter on, and now all I have to do is just push the F button to scroll over to 8KFF, and that will allow me to begin doing a fault locate. I have other videos on the channel on how to run through and actually do a complete fault locate, so look for those down below. I hope this video is going to help you out with your standalone VM510 A-frame fault locator. If you have any other questions on that, please don't hesitate to reach out to one of us at VVAX Metrotech or reach out to your local distributor. Thanks very much and have a great day.